Writes Book Riot contributing editor Sharifa here to talk about some awkward moments with authors. I was actually talking about this over on Book Riot Snapchat earlier today, the day I'm filming, um, and I was talking about this time Arundhati Roy came to my college to talk about politics and writing, and I went to see her talk because I was a writer for the Daily Bruin, my college's daily paper, and I was supposed to report on her. In case the name doesn't ring a bell, Arundhati Roy wrote The God of Small Things. I highly recommend it if you haven't read it yet. It won the Booker Prize. It was her debut novel, and she only just now has a new book coming out, I believe. This one was written in the late 90s, and I read it in the early 2000s. Anyway, I had this whole fantasy about how the situation would go down when I went to see her present at the college and I came in with my little notebook and I had all my questions ready and I was going to ask her all the important questions and I was going to ask her to sign my book and then we were going to become best friends for life because that's what happens when you talk to your favorite writers, right? Well, you already got the spoiler if you saw me talk about this earlier, but I completely blew my opportunity on shyness. And the best news is that wasn't my last opportunity to completely blow my chances to have a conversation with a writer I love. So, I went to go see Judy Bloom talk when In the Unlikely Event was just coming out, and even though I haven't finished reading this book even now, growing up I loved Judy Bloom and there was something magical and untouchable about her, so this opportunity was destined to fail. Even though I love books, I'm not necessarily the sort of person who will stand in line to have my book signed because I have no patience and I'm lazy. But I decided to do it for what was probably the second time in my life for Judy Bloom, and I wanted to say something that would make her laugh or respond, so I was thinking about all the pithy statements I could make, and I was thinking and I was thinking, and I was walking and walking and walking and walking to the end of the longest line I have ever stood in in my life. So I had a lot of time standing in that line to grow very anxious and very uncertain and when I finally saw Judy Bloom in the far, far distance, she looked very tired and very over it. So I get up to her, she signs my book, her assistant asks if I want a photo, I kind of nudge my shoulder in Judy Bloom's general direction but don't quite lean in, I put a crooked smile on my face and then it's over. I walk out into the cold blustery night and that's it. Wait, the embarrassment isn't over. I told you that was the second time I stood in line to get my book signed. There was a first time. So remember that 90s dating show Singled Out and Chris Hardwick used to be the host on it? I used to be obsessed with that show as a very, very young child and I had a big crush on Chris Hardwick and then later in life he came back. He came back as the Nerdist. I used to love that podcast when it first came out and I thought Chris Hardwick was so cool and it was so awesome that he made his comeback and he was like back in business. And so when he came out with his book, The Nerdist Way, um, I went to Meltdown Comics to go have him sign my book and say hello. Now you think I have all this background information on Chris Hardwick. I used to watch his old show that most of the people there probably had never seen. And... I listened to every podcast episode that was coming out from The Nerdist, and now I had his book. You bet I had all the things to say, all the smart and clever things to say. First of all, they asked us to write our name out on a piece of paper so that there would be no confusion about the spelling of our name when we got up to the front and asked him to sign our book. So I decided to write my name with all these symbols and ridiculous things and like wingdings. And as I got up to the front, I realized what a stupid idea it was. So I spent the first part of that conversation sputtering my explanation about why my name was written that way while he genuinely expressed concern about not wanting to get it wrong. And then he starts to draw something inside the book. And I'm like, ooh, is this like some special illustration just for me? And I'm like, what is that? What's that symbol? And he's like, oh, it's the Nerdist symbol and it's on everything they do. It's on the front cover of the book. And I was like, yeah, 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 I knew that. And then I took my book and ran. I think after all this, I've definitely learned my lesson. Moral of the story, never talk to your favorite people.